it's like on our backs to do all the talking about it because the mainstream media is not talking about it. Like they're doing the opposite. They're like putting out so much misinformation that we're then having to unpack and explain to the public, actually, this is a lie. I actually don't believe this. And it's so, it's too much. I'm not BBC News. I just thought I'm sick of asking people to be accepted. I will create the space I want and I believe should be part of the future of the comms industry. Don't think that your creativity stops in your ideas. Your creativity is about how you get the next ideas made, it's how you manage to pay your bills, become a professional, like you have to be creative. It doesn't matter whether it's true or not, that story is making a difference in your life and it will change the path that you go on. With commercial stuff it's just like done, finished, whereas your personal stuff is like this mystical thing that you can't really force. To happen. It literally felt like a never-ending content train and because I wasn't the person getting invited to like the glitzy launches or the front row seats, I was the content person in the back like hammering out the copy. It's just very, I was starting to feel myself get burnt out. It is a loss to lose these places that were um, very explicitly feminist but also I think very accessible. In the early stages it's like massively creative, you're like constantly trying to invent yourself, reinvent yourself. What's something that's really important for anyone looking to tell new stories and find new stories is to look outside of themselves. For my culture, you know, a normal nine to five successful job is not really public relations. We're saving the powers of concentration. Mm. Yeah. Because, yeah, so important. It, because in this world, there are no powers of concentration left. It's not really about waiting for somebody to tell you, hey, you can do this. It's about saying, hey, I'm going to do this please support me. If you haven't got that lens or that experience or someone who can support you with that, how are you ever going to hire people that are not the same as you? If you're forced in a kind of more focused way, you figure out ways to be resourceful and interesting and you know, maybe even some of those negative influences actually lead to positive things. The, the main thing to do is to in some way do away with or deconstruct the hierarchical mechanisms that prevent those changes happening because we're not every step we take is a small step. I think part the most exciting part about being a creative is like the collaborative element. There's, a, there's gonna be a lot of times where you'll always be the underdog I think in, in that pitch process for example or, or getting to that pitch process. Remember this university doesn't exist without you and I think students forget that. You know if we didn't come here if we didn't pay there wouldn't be a university. So if there's something you're passionate about, talk about it, fight for it.